Hey guys going, welcome to FSU Fishing Bros. Today I'm going to show you guys how to rig up a reel with some line. So unfortunately I had to retire my Daiwa reel. Daiwa's got a bit of a problem. I had to return it again. So I ended up with a Shimano. So the line I've got, got is six pound. So it doesn't really matter about the brand you have, just look for the point millimeters. So this is 0.06. And I've got this bad boy. So I got this for Christmas, fishing line winder, and that's gonna help us today. Make it a lot easier. It's got all the warranty and everything. I haven't even opened it to have a look at it. It's my Shimano. do is just tighten your reel handle so that's going to be the new one now, as you can tell it's really smooth around the edges there I'm going to teach you how to put your line on it's the most important thing if you do not tie your knots properly onto these reels your whole line will just be spinning and you won't be able to pull any fish in so that's a must have importance all right i'm not really fussed by color or anything but see how thin that is really thin this is what it'll look like. It's a nifty little reel winder. So that's pretty cool. This is for the bigger reel sets, but I don't think we'll need that. And just the handle, put your reel on. So, reel handle, so the reel just screws on there nice and easy. It's a pity about that Daiwa reel. So, what happened was, up in here there's a spring, and that kept snapping. That kept snapping, so every time I put it over, it wouldn't flick back. And when you hook up to a fish, naturally this would just flip open so that feels a lot more sturdy there's a lot more resistance there so let's hope i don't have that problem anymore so i've never had any problems like that before so, so this is all lever action just grab our reel let's tighten it up So what we're going to do, most important part, most people use backing, but I'm not going to. Wrap it around a couple of times. All my knots are uni knots, so. Just gonna do a uni knot. Just like that. Get a little moisture. And then just do it up as tight as you can. Alright, that line should not spin now. Yeah, it's taking drag. Get a pair of nail clippers. Nice and close. Now it's not going to slip. Going to slip now because that's what you'll have problems with. So make sure you got your spool open when you do it. So when you close it now, it's ready to wind on. Not 
this is doing is putting the line on, but it's preventing any twists when that's turning. Let's get rid of any twists. The line will be on nice and straight. All right, that's it. Perfectly wound on reel. So I'll just clip it off. And that's it. So this is a nifty little gift idea, I reckon, for a fisherman. Uh, makes the job a lot easier. The way I used to do it, I used to get a screwdriver, shove it into the lounge in between the cushions, and then try and wind it on there with my rod, and it used to annoy the hell out of me. So this makes it up a lot easier now. Yeah, so that's the new reel. The Shimano. Can't wait to use it. Get onto some awesome action. Hopefully, I don't have any real troubles like I did the Daiwa. So, get out there, wet a line, and you too might be able to catch a fish of a lifetime.